Welcome to this presentation from the Downey Seventh-day Adventist Church. We are located in the greater Los Angeles area at 9820 Lakewood Boulevard in Downey, California. We would love to have you worship with us any Saturday you are in our area. Today's message is, What Path Are You Trying to Find? Now, here's Pastor Kerry. That was uh, inspiring to see our group grow, and not just in number, but also in, in um, just spiritual maturity. Praise God for that. Um, actually, Edwin, I, I'd like you to come forward. Just um, because of his service, I know he's continually um, um, working, working with our group, and you know he'll he'll be there um, forever. But thank you for the the great work you've done, and I just um, I just I just want to do do that. Um, also, I want to pray pray for you and and for all that you've done. Um, praise um, God for your service. If you ever have some time to talk to him, you could tell that. He, um, he loves the Lord, and to have that influence on our children, is, it's powerful to think about that. So I'm, I'm also going to pray for our, our, our sermon to, to start as I do this prayer, okay? okay? Father, Lord, I just praise you so much for um, um, the people who have dedicated their lives to you. We praise you, Father, for, the, again, the ministry of Pathfinders, and uh, we praise you for, for the the, the work that is done by all that, are, that, that, that make it possible, Lord. Um, a special prayer for my, uh, my brother here, Edwin, Lord. Thank you, Father, for all that he does um, for our church, uh, for this ministry. I pray that you just continue to, um, to lead him, um, continue to give him um, inspiration and, 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 and your spirit just to continue to, to work in his life, that it's... Um, that his, his um, walk will be infectious to others, that they will know you through, through his witness, Lord. Father, also guide our, our, our service as well. Continue to um, um, be with our, our program, be with the words that are about to be said, Lord, that you teach us right now. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks, Pastor. God bless you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, God bless you. So, Pathfinders, um, that's the name of the service, and so I have a clever title for my sermon. What path are you trying to find? Um, there is a lot of paths out there, as you know. Um, I don't know, I, you know, being from Montana, I've been out in the wilderness a few times, and and I've been lost in the wilderness, and I've, I've been in places where I don't know which path to take to get me back home or, or to take me where I need to go. Uh, so I can recognize what it means to be trying to figure out what path am I trying to find? What path am I supposed to be on? Where am I going while I'm walking this path? The Bible has um, a few um, scriptures that point out um, paths and the meaning of paths. Um, one of the things is in Psalm 119, 104 through 106. It says, I gain understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. I hate every wrong path. Mate David is, is sharing this. I hate every wrong path. Um, and it says, your word is the lamp for my feet and the light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your, your righteous laws. As you've seen, the, the pathfinders come up and they, they've spoken, they, they declared that they will do certain things because it, it's, it's a part of being pathfinders. It's, it's their oath to pathfinders. And here it's saying, I, have, I will take an oath to f and confirm it that I will follow your righteous laws. 
and the laws are obviously found in the word. And the word is a light, right, to my feet to help you know what path that you are on. And that you choose not to go onto the other pathways because the path has no light. It's in darkness. And darkness isn't just meaning in evil, it's in uncertainty, right? You don't know where this path is taking you. But because you have the word, you have the light, you know exactly where you're going when you choose the right path. In Proverbs 3, 6, it says, in all, in all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I've had a lot of adventures in my wilderness experiences. I remember one time I was walking in, a, or I was in the wilderness, and I heard and saw a bear, right? That's a big old black bear, I think. And I saw it, and I was very excited to see it. And what do you think I did when I saw the bear? No, I walked closer to it. And I was walking closer to it, but I didn't realize the bear was the least of my worries. As I was walking, I was trying to be quiet. In my stealthness, I was making so much noise. It was, re I, I, I couldn't have made more noise if I was trying to make more noise. Right? And, I'm, and I get caught in this bushes, and I'm shaking the bushes trying to get out. And I get out of the bushes, and I look, and there's a gun pointed at me. Because some hunter that also saw the same bear was seeing all that noise and thought maybe that's where the bear was. <laughs> right? So anyways, we, we put ourselves in bad situations, don't we? And the message here is, well, I'm still here. She asked what happened. Um, <laughs> they didn't shoot, praise God, <laughs> right? They were a little mad at me that I scared the bear away. But the bear was happy for, for <laughs> the bear said thank you and, <laughs> and so on, right? So, but in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. The beauty of that is, you know, straight, clear. It's, it's no confusion. Sometimes, especially when you're younger, you're going to get all kinds of peer pressures, all kinds of um, just uncertainties and, and awkwardness that comes with life. And you might not know which way to go. Someone is telling you to do this. Someone is suggesting you to do this. And the road gets windy and confusing. But the beauty of what this, this ministry is, the beauty of having the word of God, is the path is straight. It's clear. You walk, and you know exactly where you're going. The other is, right here, enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate that is, and broad is the road that leads to what? Destruction. Destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow, the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. What does it say? The road, the wide, right, is the gate. Broad is the road, and many enter through it. The crowd seems to be going through this wide gate, right? The pathfinders, making sure you're on the right path, is often doing the opposite of what seemingly everybody else is doing, right? You have your friends at school. You know the lives they live. You know the influences that they can become to you. You know, um, but, and you have the values that come from following the word of God being a Christian, being in pathfighters. And you see the road that everybody is headed. 
That road looks good at times. It's awfully tempting to follow that road. But again, it leads to destruction, right? But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life. The beauty of it is it's not, it doesn't say hard to find is the road, right? It doesn't say it's, it's you, know, you can't see the road. The road is there. Remember, it's lit up. The lamp, right? The word of God, it's right there. You know, you know what's right or wrong. You just have to follow what is right. So the other here says, as Jesus was walking beside the Sea of, sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon P called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said, come follow me, and I will send you out to fish for a people. Jesus is on the path with, that's lit it up. The narrow road, but straight road. And he says, come and follow me. And what did he do? What did they do? At once, they left their nets and followed him. That's what it means to be a path fighter. That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus, of Christian. We have the world. We have the ways that are going uh, of, of, of life that is taking us one direction. And we have God's ways, right? And he calls us. He calls us out. We can either go and do what you do and do what you you know, whatever you want to do and, and live your life um, for yourself, that is, that is your prerogative if you do. But Jesus is saying, I want you to drop all of that and come follow me. Come follow me. And you know what the awesome thing of that? You know what you become? Fishers, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Be a fisher. <laughs> Praise God for that, right? You all can be fishers. How many of you want to be fishers? <laughs> yeah, amen, amen. But you're not just fishing for fish, right? You become fishers of men, which means God has something amazing for your life, something incredible, something you have the opportunity to change the world if you follow that lighted path that is straight, that Jesus is standing on and saying, come and follow me. So many have walked away from that and walked the, the broad gate that leads to destruction. That's what it is to be a pathfinder. It's not just to find any path. There are lots of paths, right? Go to Yosemite, and there's hundreds of paths you could take to take you to nice little roads. It's not you're here to find the path, the path that the Lord wants you to be on. It's a message not only to you, but for the rest of us. Let us pray. Father, Lord, thank you so much for these young people who have made a commitment this year to learn, to grow, to be a part of this community, this group that's striving for for something that is more important than, than just the friends that we can hang out with, the electronics that we can play with, 
the the world that that could be such a temptation, Lord. Father, we pray for this group, these pathfinders. And Lord, may this be a year that they strive to not, not just to get this patch for the sake of getting a patch, to get it done, to, to, to look good while they're up front. But it's the experience that they're gaining as they gain each patch. The understanding that they're gaining. And may they see that you are there teaching them, becoming stronger, Coming, growing to become lights to this world. Well, not all of us can in this group could be a part of Pathfinders, but we are all on our own path, Lord. And may these young people be a witness to the rest of us. That for us to follow. to have the lamp at our feet, walking that straight path with you there, waving us forward and follow, to follow you. Guide us now. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.